Stormy Daniels' lawyer posted this picture of his client, looking very happy to have finished with a hostile cross-examination. In the courtroom, she was repeatedly accused of being a liar, of having made up the story about having sex with Donald Trump in 2006. Referring to her career in adult films, Mr. Trump's attorney said to Ms. Daniels, You have a lot of experience in making phony stories about sex appear to be real. She replied, The sex in the films is very much real, just like what happened to me in that room, referring to her alleged sexual encounter with Mr. Trump, and then saying, If that story was untrue, I would have written it to be a lot better. Donald Trump denies ever having sex with Stormy Daniels and claims the case against him is bogus. This is a Frankenstein case. They took a dead misdemeanor, they attached it to a dead alleged federal felony and zapped it back into life. So many of us are just amazed to watch this actually walk into court because it's not a recognizable crime. The judge and jury kept straight faces as Ms. Daniels described being called a human toilet online and replying that she was the best person to flush that orange turd down. Because she tweeted a link to her online store selling Team Stormy merchandise the day Mr. Trump was indicted, Ms. Daniels was accused of trying to make money from this case. Not unlike Mr. Trump, she said. He sends out frequent emails to supporters trying to raise money to defend himself. Stormy Daniels' testimony over a day and a half was explicit and explosive, talking about Donald Trump in black silk pyjamas and describing having sex with him. But it may not have much impact on this criminal case. Legally, it doesn't really matter whether Donald Trump and Stormy Daniels had sex. In fact, his defence team have been arguing for a mistrial, saying all this explicit detail has nothing to do with the case in hand. They were denied that. Donald Trump doesn't deny paying Stormy Daniels to keep quiet. And what he's actually charged with is falsifying business expenses because he marked those hush money payments as legal expenses. So it doesn't really have anything to do with the sex. Sarah Smith, BBC News, New York.